cough, headache, or sneezing, flu season is here. And sharing how you can stay healthy during this time is Dr. Nathan Fitton with MSU Healthcare or MSU Sports Medicine. And Dr. Fitton, how does students going back into the classroom and of course the changing of the seasons with fall approaching really affect people's health? Yeah, so as the weather cools and people tend to aggregate inside and congregate at different sporting events like MSU football games or high school football games, as well as kids back in the classroom, all of those individuals in close proximity increase the likelihood of disease transmission. And so in the fall, we tend to see a, a higher uh, prevalence of these types of illnesses. So having people in close quarters can contribute to the increase of those cases. In which cases can you help lower that number? Yeah, so certainly if you wanna help try and prevent any sort of onset of illness, it, the, the ever important hand washing is, is, is one that we are always focused on. And then taking care of your body so it can take care of you. Getting a good night's sleep, making sure you're staying nice and hydrated, eating good healthy food, all of those things to make your body ready for when it encounters that virus and, and make it uh, ready to fight it off. Covering the basics and taking care of your basic needs. When it goes into some other, maybe lesser known things, when it comes to cleaning the counters or even a water bottle, what do people need to know? Yeah, always giving a nice opportunity for warm soapy water for 20 to 30 seconds to nice uh, to clean down a surface. Will also help prevent anything that might still be lingering on there to get washed away and keep you nice and healthy. One of the things we talk about in staying healthy is vaccinations. However, vaccination rates have dropped significantly, especially for the younger populations. When they're back in school, when they're playing sports and in those close quarters, why get vaccinated? You know, the, the answer to why have vaccinations declined is, is a very complex and difficult one, but we know in general that these vaccinations are effective and they're safe, and that's why personally I recommend them and I get them for myself and my kids. And as a sports medicine doctor, one of my biggest areas of interest is keeping kids playing, keeping them practicing, and we know that these vaccinations can help keep them healthy and keep them on the field. What are the signs that you look out for and the symptoms when someone does start getting sick? Yeah, so when we start to look at the different illnesses through the fall, you have your run-of-the-mill common cold that tends to be more of a gentler illness, but you have to watch out for more of the severe things like influenza or some of the more severe forms of COVID-19. And they, they have a variety of symptoms. The common cold doesn't typically have much of a fever and it's more of a runny nose, but if you have abrupt onset of an illness or you develop a fever, body aches, chills, particularly headache, it's time to get that checked out because we know the earlier you catch it, the earlier the treatment can be started and differentiated from COVID or the flu and can help you have a better overall outcome. Now, because of those differences, you mentioned the cold, the flu, and also, of course, as we know, COVID-19. What is the importance then of getting those vaccinations or what should people do if they start getting those symptoms? Yeah, so we again know the vaccinations can help prevent severe disease. They can help prevent hospitalizations. Last year for the flu, there was 400,000 hospitalizations in the United States and 25,000 deaths. So COVID is still a very severe and scary disease, but so is the flu and we don't wanna neglect that as well. So getting those vaccinations is the best way to help uh, prevent that from happening. Dr. Fenton, thank you for helping us keep mid-Michigan healthy. My pleasure. We're going to send it over to First Alert meteorologist Andy Provenzano because, Andy, the fall season is sneaking in this weekend. A little calling card coming in on Saturday. <laughs>